Hey everyone, yes, we are still here in our respective boxes. Meredith Morakovitz in Clearwater, David Cohn. David, how are you doing? Hey Meredith, I'm good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Hanging in there, I think we're all trying to. Yes, definitely. So what have you been doing? What have you been up to? Uh, you know, just uh, hunker down, you know, I mean, I got caught in between. So, uh, you know, I'm down in Florida with my family and, uh, you know, we've got a second place down here and, uh, you know, we just, uh, we're like everybody else, you know, we kind of stay at, staying at home, staying inside, and, you know, at least we can get a little sunshine down here in Florida, but like everybody else, we're just kind of trying to figure out the new world that we live in. Kind of a waiting game and staying home is the best thing we can all do right now to hopefully get back to normal as quickly as possible. Hopefully everyone in New York is doing okay. And you know, David, I just want to thank everyone up there that's on the front lines that's going through this, the medical professionals that are out there day after day, really risking their own lives to try to help others. It's pretty remarkable to watch. It really is. When you, you think of all the things you can do, I mean, even from donating pizza to our healthcare workers at the hospitals, I thought was pretty unique. I mean, there's so many little things that can be done to, to try to pitch in and, and help out at this point. And uh, there's all, all kinds of uh, fundraising opportunities too, as well, to help out with, with, with so many different needs that are out there. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of things to look at and a lot of ways to help, even though we're kind of stuck at home. Now at home, have you been turning on Yes Network, watching Yankee Classics, watching Yankeeographies? Anything in particular you've been kind of trying to pass the time with? Uh, yeah, mostly actually streaming online. The you know Yes Network website is really good for that stuff. And your Instagram feed, I think, is number one must watch. I think, Meredith, uh -huh. following you and Susan <laughs> on Instagram, to me, is, is my daily highlight. So, uh, you know, that's something I look forward to. Uh, you know, all sorts of, of ways to do it. As I said, I'm kind of, you know, we're down in Florida. So, uh, you know, the Yes Network, I, I don't really have it where we're staying right now. So I'm, I'm relying on streaming media a lot as far as information. I think I might know somebody who might know somebody that might be able to help you out in getting the Yes Network. <laughs> yes, there you go. That might be uh, my next move. What's been the best thing you've watched so far, whether it be Netflix, Hulu, just whatever on the internet? Well, you know, it's, you know, I have an eight-year-old son, so, you know, he kind of dominates the television now that he's home and being homeschooled. Today was his first day of homeschooling, so trying to get that sorted through, you know, the distance learning thing that's going on now is, is uh, challenging. It was the first day today, so, uh, you know, that was probably the most interesting thing I've done is trying to figure out distance learning and all, all the kids around the metropolitan area that are going through this in different schools now, trying to get up to speed with it. Certainly is a big challenge uh, for him, but uh, also on the movie side with him, uh, you know, we we watched, um, um, you know, all he, he Frozen two over and over <laughs> again. He wants to watch the same movie. I know every song to Frozen two now. So now I've never seen Frozen at all, one two, or I think there's a third as well. Is there a third? I don't know. What songs are in Frozen two? The only one that I know is Let It Go. That's the first one, though, I think. That's the first one, yes. Uh, there's so many great songs in there. I mean, uh, um, you know, uh, Reveal Yourself. I mean, uh, there's just, uh, you know, the music is amazing. You know, to watch my son sing every word to every song when he watches these movies, it's just pretty, pretty remarkable. Show Yourself. There's some great songs. There really are. Now, are you an Anna or Elsa, Elsa kind of guy? Um, you know, uh, definitely more of an Anna, Anna kind of guy, because I the personality. She's such so funny. Her personality is out there. It really is. You know, Kristen Bell does a great job, you know, in, in, in character with that one. When it comes time to play baseball, whenever that is, it's going to be great to see baseball do something to help the country, whether, whether, whether that's just a diversion or some sort of escapism or something that, that allows people to, to get back to some sort of sense of normalcy. And I think baseball's always played that role, no matter what the schedule is, whether it's a half season, double headers, playing into October, November, whatever that may be. Uh, you know, well, I'll leave that to, to some really smart people that have come up with some creative scheduling ideas. But when it's time to play baseball, 
baseball players should be on the field and trying to pro provide some sort of inspiration, some sort of uh, relief for, for all the fans out there that, that have been waiting so long to see it. I think it will be therapeutic for a lot of people when it does finally come back. Uh, people miss it. People miss watching the Yes Network, watching the Yankees, watching their respective teams. And baseball is different than any other sport in that it's every day and it's a good chunk of time. And I think now people are just waiting for that normalcy in their life. So hopefully it happens sooner rather than later when it comes to that. Uh, as far as the Yankees are concerned, anything that you're intrigued with right now when you think of the team? Well, you know, I, I think just the overall health of the team. I mean, you know, it's, um, you know, Aaron Judge has more time now to heal. Giancarlo Stanton has more time to heal. heal. Uh, even Aaron Hicks. You know, when, when yeah. it's got much more of a chance to, to come back and make an impact. So from the Yankee standpoint, you've got a chance at the midseason point or whenever potentially the season starts to be pretty close to full strength. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for a silver lining, you know, amongst the crisis here you know, on the baseball side of things, uh, from the Yankee standpoint, the rest is good for them to get healthy. And they have a chance, no matter what type of schedule is, is, is going to be played, to be pretty close to full strength when it does come about, including James Paxton too, as well. You know, so there's there's so many uh, veteran, very important key players that that have more time to heal up right now. Now, if you were a player right now, you talked about double headers as a possibility. How many double headers in a week would you be comfortable with? Wow, that that's a tricky one, and it's hard to say. I mean, you know, if you go back to the, you know. 50, 60, 70 years ago, there used to be a doubleheader on Sundays and an off day on Mondays. So uh, I don't know, maybe once a week. It'd be hard to do it twice a week yeah. without some sort of roster construction issues or being able to have extra pitchers uh, to, to get through those doubleheaders or maybe even seven inning doubleheaders. You know, I think that's something Jim Cott has thrown out in the past. Uh, that would be interesting. That's what they do in the minor leagues, play yeah. seven inning doubleheaders. So yeah, I think this is a time for baseball to get really creative. All the people that have all these great creations and, you know, that they have these, these wild ideas about, you know, what, what we can do uh, to enhance the game or to come up with some, some different ideas. Now's the time for these people to come forward and, and come up with all these ideas. Before we get going, we'll get creative here, and I'll ask you, if you had to be quarantined with one member of the Yes Network crew, who would you pick? Ooh, wow. Uh, you know, I mean, this is going to sound gratuitous, but Meredith, I think I'd pick you because of your Instagram feed and your entertainment value and how funny you are and your personality. And you're probably the most professional one on our crew, too, by the way. <laughs> O'Neill and I are just ex-jocks trying to fake it up in the booth for, for the most part. Flash is fairly professional, too, but he's still an ex-jock. He's an old catcher, too. <laughs> to double down on that. So yeah, I'd, I'd want to be with somebody really professional, really funny, and somebody who has social media savvy. Well, thank you. Michael's going to be mad, but don't worry, I'm going to forward him this clip just so he sees it. Uh, is there yeah. one food that you couldn't live without for a quarantine? Wow. Mm. Wow. You know, one food would probably be, uh, you know, that's a tricky one, but, I, you know, ice cream. Ice cream would be pretty tough. Just because, you know, it makes you feel so good when you eat ice cream. I'm still a little kid at heart, I know. <laughs> and if there's one song that had a play on loop for the quarantine, what would you choose? Wow. Um, you know, I'd probably play um, uh, Margaritaville by Jimmy <laughs> Buffett. <laughs> You should have picked margaritas as the one thing you couldn't live without. You could just sit there in a Tommy Bahama tropical yeah. shirt with your margarita. Just need, a, just need a blender. I need a blender and flip flops. Uh, well, David, if you need help with Sammy, I'm a graduate of Yes University. I'd, have, I'd happily step in, teach a class for you. But until then, uh, we hope everybody at home is staying safe, and we'll see you again soon. Sounds good. Professor Morakovic. Thank <laughs> you.